Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about Mini Profiler and how we can use it in your ASP.NET Core projects. As you can see, the Mini Profiler is available in different languages and frameworks. But today, uh, we are only focusing on .NET and ASP.NET Core. So let's start profiling our application using Mini Profiler. But profiling means that it uh, gets into your framework, your application, and um, profiles all the methods that are running in the background and I show you uh, some statistics charts on how good your application is doing and how long does it take to run each method. So let's see it in action. So I just need to go to this profile in Spanish core and go to uh, this page uh, here. You can see which uh, package you need to install. Let's copy it. And I already have a project in here. It's a, um, it, is, it is created from ASP.NET Core template, nothing uh, fancy about it, and just a very simple ASP.NET Core application. And um, now let's install that package. Uh, let's go to Tools and you get Package Manager Console. And I paste the command in here and waiting for it to download and restore on my project so it's ready and now uh, we need to edit our startable cs file and add this middleware inside i'm just going to copy and add mini profiler and uh, let's go to a startup and let's inject that and next we are going to use that mini profiler as you can see there are lots of options you can configure on your mini profiler but for now we are just going with defaults so next I'm going to add the um, use mini profiler in here and let's save everything uh, also mm, there is one more thing to do uh, we need to add a tag helper to our project but first uh, let's add this code to our view imports file I'm going to go to this page and view imports and just paste the code in here with no change and next then uh, you need to add this razor tag helper to your layout somewhere that you could see in every page so i go to shared layout and somewhere in the body i paste this and now we are done um, there are other things to do um, but let's just go ahead with this one and run the project debug is start without debugging because i just want to see how it works so my application is running and you see uh, one little menu in here and then you can check how long does it take to run our application uh, each method in here has a duration in milliseconds uh, and you can very easily check how things work behind the scenes so it took uh, page result uh, 47 milliseconds and the longest is handler and getting profile ids 
and took uh, 4.2 milliseconds and that's how you can analyze your application so i can refresh this page a couple of times and get the get an idea how long does it take for us to load you can get you a lot more information if you click on more columns or show trivial and then you can check it out let's add some more things in our application like if i go to my index page i can create a client and new http client and let's use this client to um, send async or send a new request or let's just get async and let's call for https google.com and because we have async we need a wait and with a wait we need async and let's add task and it i action result and return page is what we need now okay uh, let's run the project again and see the stats uh, this time So behind the scenes is calling Google and this time it took a lot, a lot longer, five seconds and you can see that this handler now takes a lot more and this way you can find the problems in your application uh, and see what happened in the background. And so that's how Profiler works. It's very easy to install and um, you can have it in different pages. Like if I go to this create, you can see that it takes very little to show create page because we are doing nothing. And let's uh, test something here and submit. And, and now uh, we have a new data and something is showing up in here so we can check um, what it was and how does it how long did it take and and that's how mini profiler works it's very easy uh, to install and it's good when you're working in a development environment to have this uh, in your project and make sure that nothing weird is going on in your application and if you see something taking um, too much you can just check it out and change the code find a problem so that's it that's how you work with a mini profiler thanks for watching and see you in next videos one more thing is that you can profile ef core with mini profiler and to do that you just have to uh, install mini profile entity framework core and let's go ahead and do that install that package next we need to add entity framework to our startup and uh, in here so let's run the project again so this time uh, it shows uh, how entity framework is also working and this time you can see the SQL column 2 we did a call SQL this time and this is a connection open and this is our select statement for the current user and then the connection closed uh, so and this information uh, can be seen when you add entity framework to new profiler and it can be very useful 
uh, to measure the performance of your uh, connection to the database. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon.